the IDF has concluded an after-action review and confirm that the Islamic Jihad was responsible for the strike at the Al-Hali Al-Ma'adani Hospital in Gaza. We did an immediate review with all relevant branches of the IDF. This is what took place on Tuesday, October 17th. At 6.15 p.m., a barrage of rockets was fired by Hamas to Israel. Then, at 6.59 p.m., a barrage of around 10 rockets was fired by Islamic Jihad from a nearby cemetery. It was at the time that 6.59 p.m. when there were reports of an explosion at the Al-Hali Al-Mahadani Hospital in Gaza City. According to our intelligence, Hamas checked the reports, understood it was an Islamic Jihad rocket that had misfired and decided to launch a global media campaign to hide what really happened. They went as far as inflating the numbers of casualties. They understood with absolute certainty that it was a rocket misfired by Islamic Jihad that damaged the hospital. Analysis of our aerial footage confirms that there was no direct hit to the hospital itself. The only location damage is outside the hospital in the parking lot where we can see signs of burning, which I will show later, no cratering and no structural damage to nearby buildings, as opposed to the damage caused by any aerial munition which would have been of different nature. We would have seen craters and structural, and structural damage to the buildings, both of which haven't been, in, haven't been identified in this incident. The size of the damage we see here is due to the warhead of the Islamic Jihad rocket, but most of the rocket's propellant is still evident due to the short flight of the rocket because the launch failed. The following visual evidence shows infrared imagery of the parking lot. You can see the central locations of fires, some debris of rooftops, no craters can be identified. I want to show you that <coughs> myself. <coughs> this is the area of the hospital. Okay, we are showing the parking lot and the hospital. Okay, those are in red spots. This is not in infrared, so you can understand it better. This is the parking lot. This is the parking lot. You can see the parking lot also now in this picture shown here. Okay, aftermath, after the hit. There is no structural damage to the building. The walls stand intact. There are no craters here. All of the above, which I said, no structural damage. The walls stay intact, no craters. These are the characterized that shows that it did not an aerial munition that have hit the parking lot. We also have examples of what air-to-ground munition creator looks like. As you can see, they do not exist in this instance. Many media outlets immediately reported the unverified claims by Hamas. Those were lies spread by Hamas. I want to make something clear. It is impossible to know what happened as quickly as Hamas claimed they knew. That, was have, that, have, that should have been an initial warning sign for many. Unlike Hamas, the IDF launched an immediate examination which was overseen at the very highest levels of command. This professional review was based on intelligence, operation, intelligence operational systems and aerial footage, all of which, which we cross-checked. The evidence which we are sharing with you all, confirms that the explosion of the Al Hali al-Mahadani hospital in Gaza was caused by an Islamic Jihad rocket that is, was misfired. 
Here are the four main parts of the examination process. First, we confirmed that there was no IDF fire by land, sea, or air that hit the hospital. Second, our radar system tracked rockets fired by terrorists from within Gaza at the time of the explosion. I will show you. The trajectory analysis from the barrage of rockets confirms that the rockets were fired close proximity to the hospital. In addition, there are two independent videos which show the failure of the rocket launch and the continu continuation of rocket flight towards the ground within the Gaza Strip, falling in the hospital compound. Third, we have intelligence, some that, will, some that will be shared here, of communication between terrorists talking about rockets misfiring the terrorists realize that the rocket has misfired and made specific reference to the Al-Hali Al-Madani hospital. I would want to let everybody hear the conversation and I will do uh, the translation in English. I'm telling you, this is the first time that we see missile like this falling and so that's why we are saying it belongs to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. What? They are saying it belongs to the PGI. It's from us? It looks like it. Who says this? They are saying the, the sharpnel from the missile is local sharpnel and not like Israeli sharpnel. What are you saying, Abu Amar? But God bless, it couldn't have been found another place, not the hospital, to explode? Never mind, yes, Abu Raji. They shot it from the cemetery behind the hospital. What? They shot it coming from the cemetery behind the Mahadani hospital, and it misfired and fell on them. There's a cemetery behind it? Yes, El Mahadani is exactly in the compound. Where is it when, the, in, when, when you enter the compound? You first enter the compound and don't go towards the city, it's on the right side of El Maadani Hospital. Yes, I know it. We have cross-checked, intercept with other intelligence sources to confirm this accuracy. It is common for rockets that are fired to Israel to land short and fall inside Gaza. These rockets fall short of Israel and have caused Palestinian casualties. During this war, we have counted approximately 450 rockets that misfired and fell inside Gaza. Palestinian civilians pay the price. I want to show you the footage. These are failed launches during this war, until now. These are all failed launches that fell inside the Gaza Strip, and some of them, of course, created casualties among the Palestinians themselves and one of them was in the hospital Al-Hali Al-Mahamadani. We are also sharing this information with our partners, first and foremost the United States. We want the maximum transparency because we take any incident involving civilians very, very seriously. Unfortunately, many in the media immediately reported the statements coming out from Hamas controlled in Gaza which blamed Israel. Instead of waiting for the examination of a credible information from the IDF, some media outlets ran with Hamas lies. Some of those headlines are still up, have not been corrected. I understand the desire to break news, but I hope you will all agree the accuracy and credible information comes before speed. The IDF acts in accordance with the international law. In conclusion, this incident shows how allegations, in this case false and baseless allegations made by terrorists against Israel, can spread and flame tension in the region.